What's going on everybody? It's your boy C-Dub with another episode of CW Outdoor. Today's a special episode. Ta we have reached 100 subscribers. Thanks to you guys. Appreciate it. Uh, and I know it's not that big of a deal. It's only 100 subscribers when people have millions, but it's an excuse to give stuff away. Let's get started. everybody today's episode we're going to talk about EDC everyday carry I got my EDC here and I'm going to go through a few things that I like to carry but you guys at home remember it's all about you it's all about personal preference it's all about body type you know what your day consists of what you need you know to go about your day and really I don't need everything but some of it is in case shit happens or in case I, I need something. Uh, I'm gonna start out with obviously the, the firearms and what they're carried in and I'll go down from there, okay? Let's start out with the M&P Shield. I know I did an EDC before and a lot of people ask me, do you switch it up? Yes, yes, I have actually have a rotation of multiple like four firearms that I go through. But these are the main ones that I carry. This is the MMP Shield, Smith & Wesson MMP Shield. And this is carried in a Badger Concealment holster. This is the carbon fiber and the appendix carry. I don't go with the claw because it really doesn't make much difference for me, but I like the Badger Concealment. These guys make great holsters. Um, they're very affordable. They're very durable. The retention on these things is awesome. I mean, it's a great product, especially for, you know, for the money. And once again, like I said, it's really light and extremely durable. I've dropped this thing on many occasions and it's still in one piece great holster uh, the firearm is a good firearm also I want to I want to be carrying it but like I said everybody's gonna be different everybody's gonna have different preferences firearms holsters whatever works for them second main firearm in the rotation is the CZ P10C all right and this is when I'm wearing heavier clothes, you know, baggier clothes, stuff where I can actually conceal. I still consider this, even though it says it's a compact, I still consider it a full size uh, firearm. Once again, Badger Concealment. This is actually set up for both um, appendix and if you want to carry on your side. Great holsters. Um, I'm gonna put a link at the end of the at the end of the uh, episode with a actual discount code that they were nice enough to give us for 15% off, which is awesome. These guys, they're already affordable holsters, and they're gonna give us 15% off you guys at home because they were nice enough to do that for us. Thank you guys at Badger Concealment. These guys are awesome. But once again, like I said, it's all about personal preference. You know how many holsters I had to own before I actually found one that I like. I used to have the wingman appendix. I used to carry, you know, four o'clock, uh, six o'clock, everywhere. I've carried everywhere around my waist, waist of, you know, to, uh, to figure out what it is that I liked. Next up is one in particular I'm gonna talk about. Uh, this one is the smaller brother to the, uh, knife that I actually carry. It's the Boker Kalishnikov. It comes in this really cool AK shaped case. 
and it is a Tonto blade locking blade. Very nice. Like I said, I own the the big brother to this, and it is actually an automatic. Which this is a just the it's a mini, so it's the locking blade. Kalishnikov. It's a Boker Kalishnikov. It's made of the AUS8. It is a two-point inch blade, six inches in total when it's all the way out. Six inches when it's all the way out. It even looks like it might be smaller than that. That's a very nice blade. I like it. I carried the the bigger one for many and many, many, many months. It keeps an edge. It's in the budget. Like I said, the Boker makes a you know higher class higher budget knife as well but they also make the you know medium as I like to call it like the medium budget that where you're still getting quality but not breaking the bank and they make a phenomenal blade it's, it's stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna be giving some of this stuff away too so don't go switching channels on me right away it's the Boker Kalishnikov Mini Okay, this is, but I do like the fixed blades for, especially when I'm riding the bike and, you know, out in the woods, walking around. I will carry a fixed blade and a sheath. And once again, I'm going to the Boker because they make great quality stuff and it's in the budget. This is the Outdoorsman. This is your fixed blade Outdoorsman by Boker. focus yeah super super nice knife uh, total length 7.8 the blade is about four inches I think good quality knives for a decent price and they're super sharp I mean these things hold an edge the one that I carry on an everyday basis the the big brother of the mini Klishnikov, the regular Klishnikov. I had that thing and everything they tell you not to do with a knife, I do with a knife and it still holds an edge and it doesn't break and it hasn't been and it's been a great, great knife. Uh, this Outdoorsman comes with a, it's a, like a nylon sheath. But yeah, comes with this nice little sheath and make quality products. Well, everything's quality when it comes to these guys. The packaging, super nice. I mean, I can't remember the last time I got it. knives that come in nice packaging like this. Nice packaging, it's in the budget. Me, I'm not gonna, I'm not dissing anybody that spends a decent amount of money on, on Spider Co. and, you know, upper, I shouldn't say upper class, but like, you know, upper bracket knives, nicer knives. Um, to each his own. I like nice stuff too. It's just I don't choose to spend it on on knives. All right, EDC knives, firearms, holsters, and the most important thing to hold this all together, in my opinion, and that is your your belt. This is a Core Essentials track line belt it is essentially a giant wire tie that wraps around you and fits very nicely very small space in between adjustments whereas we all know that sometimes you put on a belt and it seems like that next hole is a, is a mile mile away sometimes but this is this one's nylon. They have leather belts as well. And then they have, you know, they have dress belts and regular belts, but their gun belts are phenomenal. They have the track line system for minor adjustments. It locks in real nice. 
30 day money back guarantee, one year warranty. And I've had this for a year and a half and I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed, I promise. So you have the Core Essentials track line belt, the Boker knives. I will be giving away those Boker knives and the Badger concealment wallet along with a discount code for Core Essentials and a discount code for, code for Badger Concealment. All I need you guys to do is go to Instagram for the rules and regulations, really not regulations, just the rules on how to enter. It's really simple. You gotta like a few pages and tag some people and, and you're entered. If you don't have Instagram, go ahead and like this and subscribe and comment below to say done or enter. Big thank you to Boca for sending us all these cool knives that to share with with you guys out there not only do they have a quality product but they have quality customer service and customer relations i said email i said hey would you guys be willing to send me anything and they said no problem tell us what you want all i had to do is write that one i wanted and they sent it to me awesome awesome people same with everybody else that sent uh, this stuff to give to you guys uh, to, uh, to hand down to you guys core essentials great customer service great customer relations and Badger concealment those guys are great great people awesome I love that I get to work with people like that on a daily basis so subscribe here if you don't have Instagram like this video and comment that's all you have to do if you don't have Instagram if you have Instagram go to my page and check out the rules and regulations on how we're gonna do that, okay? So go ahead and like this video. I appreciate you guys' time. Like I said, we have finally hit 100 subscribers. Not like that's a huge deal or anything, but you know, it gives me an excuse to hand free stuff out to you guys. So go to Instagram, check out the rules and regulations, subscribe, comment, and I'll check you guys later.